I can vlog. Get me excited because I'm going to the US. <laughs> this is like, it's not gonna hit me. I've already teared up a bit leaving my family, but until I get there, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm actually moving. So this is crazy. I'm definitely way too early, but I'd rather be early than late. So here we are. by my own I'm 21 this should be normal but I'm in New York and I came here by myself this is so weird I am walking I think this is near Riverside Drive I'm not sure what the streets called am I on a number street or an avenue I still have to get used to all that but anyway lots of brownstones I'm gonna get some food for the hotel room we're gonna chill Central Park and I just got vaccinated. I just got one shot of Pfizer in the Natural History Museum just across from me in there. You can't really see it but it's over the trees or through the trees rather and I'm vaccinated. This is insane. So I'm very happy, very relaxed now. My next appointment's in July, 11th of July. So that's soon I'll be fully vaccinated. Also, I just walked in. I didn't make an appointment, I walked in. Insane. room and it's like not even late you might think it's late it's like half eight so i felt some side effects of the vaccine on and off today afterwards i felt all good there's like a 15 minute minute waiting period after you have it and i felt fine walked back felt good all afternoon except my arm is getting a bit sore but then like took some panadol that made it better um in general feeling a bit tired but I, that could also be traveling who knows if it's to do with the vaccine and then the last thing recently like about an hour ago or so i felt like chills like like it, as if, if i had a temperature i felt the chills and i don't get them often and i was very put out by it i was kind of freaking out i was like why am i jittering why am i jittering i was on the phone to my parents at the time and i was like <laughs> overreacting so much but i'm good apparently it's it's the, it's a sign that the vaccine's working so that's good tomorrow i'm moving into my columbia accommodation i have to have covid test in the morning beforehand so i'm going for that which is in columbia so i'll be going to see columbia which i'm so excited about i can't wait to see it and uh and then moving in and then you know just settling in uh this is the for next few days are gonna be pretty chill um i also have an essay due oh my god i only arrived here yesterday wow <laughs> I need coolness. So yes, welcome to my apartment. I am very much 
not unpacked yet <laughs> because I was like back and forth between the hotel and here, like bringing luggage, and I got a COVID test, and altogether it was just a tiring day. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should unpack a bit so I can, you know, kind of live here. Uh, it is just me living here so far. My friend Brian is moving in later this summer before the fall term. He's currently doing an internship. So I'm here doing summer classes. So I'm here on my own for a little bit of the summer and I'm kind of excited. It's kind of nice to have my own place so I can mess up <laughs> and no one will judge me. air conditioning fixed in which is amazing and makes such a difference. I've got my room a little sorted out, I've been receiving packages that I ordered like some things like hair dryer, got an air fryer, play around, uh, just some things like that for the place. Um, but other than that I've been working on an essay so it's been a lot these past few days. Today is exciting, I'm going out to meet um, some friends. I'm meeting uh, Melissa at the Hungarian pastry shop and then later I'm meeting Julia and Hannah in Greenwich Village. I haven't been downtown yet, I've mainly been in the Upper West Side so excited to go down that way. Are we going in? Hello Julia! <laughs> Later, I booked myself into the Butler Library, so hopefully that will motivate me to work hard today. <laughs> Good, I think he was more concerned about my idea than I yours. So. 